Hi, and welcome to the next video of Origami Teen 14. I'm going to try this again because it got disturbed last time. Okay. Get um, one piece of origami paper, 15 by 15. You can use any color. I'm going to use green. This was a pink bug. But um, it's jumping. That one really flew. Try a little less. There. You're going to start with your color side facing down. You're going to fold vertically. Now we're going to do something we haven't done before, it's called a pinch mark. So what you want to do is fold this down like this, and on the closed edge, instead of making a crease all the way along, on the closed edge, you're just going to make a tiny little mark, which is called a pinch mark. Okay, and it should do that. Right there. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take this top corner and roll it down. So I'll speak as if it's facing you here. This, the the uh, closed end should be away and the open end should be facing you. And you're going to fold the top down to that center and just crease. And make sure it's all lined up because that wasn't exact. The more exact you get it, there's a few reasons why. The better the model will look when it's done, and the better the frog will hop for this matter. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to unfold, and then what you're going to do is you're going to turn it over and fold the X's to, sorry, fold the edges to the center, and again, um, now the uh, as again the open end is facing you, the closed one is away. And you're gonna fold all uh, both layers to the center. Unfold, turn over again to the other side, and fold into the center. And she did something like that. And unfold and flip over. Press on the center of each, and you should be able to fold these down like this. And that will look like a water bomb base. Okay. So like that, you're gonna press on there, and then you're gonna fold this edge and this piece here should meet in the middle. And go like that, and you go like that. And then you squish. Okay. And then you're going to press back. This side will meet in the middle. That side will meet in the middle. And it will squish down. And you should have this diamond shape. Okay. Like that. What you're going to do is if you look at this that the line is going horizontal so you're going to take the, each of these flaps and you're going to fold them up to the vertical line in the center. I'll create one for you. Okay. So I don't know if you can see that but this vertical line right there Yeah, there you go. Okay. So you're going to fold these to that. So you're just going to fold. And this edge is going to meet here. It's going to meet on the, center, on the center here. And this tip is going to meet up there. So you're just going to... Okay, and this one. And then you're going to turn it and do the same. I'm sorry that my camera's bad quality and it's so far away. Can't really get it any closer. <laughs> it's filmed on a laptop, so okay. So now you should have the jumping table kind of thing. Okay. So it's like a form of the jumping table. Now what you're going to do is now we should have this. You're gonna go that those are on the top and the bottom. What you're going to do is you're going to fold this edge 
here and you're going to line it with that edge there so you want to roll it until it meets it and press and you get a leg like that okay same with this one you're going to roll it and go like that and repeat on this side Sorry. Okay, and roll on. Okay. Now you have a jumping table. So again, it's it's the jumping table. But we want to make a frog. So we're gonna keep it on this side. And what you're gonna do is you wanna look. Now, if you fold this back layer back or the bottom layer back, you should have like that kind of shape. You don't want it. Um, you don't want it facing that way, you want to face it that way. So, make sure that the feet aren't, when you're looking at it, make sure the feet aren't, um, facing, um, up and down like that. You want to have it that the feet are pointing forward. So now what you want to do is place it down on the floor with the feet close together, not pointing out like that. You want to have them that they're pointing out like that. What you're going to do is this is going to be the head or that could be the head or butt or the butt. I don't really care. But you're just going to fold and line this edge with the center. Sorry, this video is long. Okay, same with this side. Okay, you should have the body. You're gonna take the head and you're just gonna fold on that line where those are, like back. And where it's the point up here, that's the head. Okay, so what you're gonna do is if you look on here, I'm just gonna use this for a demonstration here. If you look in here and it's, there's that flat part there. So if you take this and you slide it into there. So if you pull this one out and you look there and you pull and roll this back and then place it into that flap you have your frog but now we have to make it jump so what you're gonna do is you're going to fold the frog in half so if you're looking at its belly you're gonna fold it in half and there should be this line there so you just fold it down and its arms and legs should meet perfectly like that okay. and then what you're going to do is you're going to go to its feet end, or its butt end, back end, and you're going to fold this piece here down to that crease that we just did, like this, and it, this is really thick as well, and you just squish it, because it is really thick, so that's your frog. Um, you can get as many as you want. You can like put numbers on them. Number 11 and number 22. Um, you can do whatever you want. Um, and this you can have erasers. And you just press on the back and you just fire them. So, if you want more animal videos, please let me know. Um, I will be making a video on different origami tools, and so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye.